students aim to make some history today, launching their own rocket to space. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Geneviève Beauchemin is tracking the story. So Geneviève, how did it go? Well, Heather, analysis is on the way to figure out the mission's success. Regardless, this is one for the history books. 5.34 a.m. on a remote base camp on Crete territory. The Star Sailor rocket set for blastoff. We're going now. A liftoff on a live stream seven years in the making. Built from the dreams of Concordia University students and the collaboration of the local Cree community. In 2018, the aspiring engineers set out to reach for the stars with the largest, most powerful student-built rocket ever made. The spark was an intercollegiate race to launch a liquid fuel rocket into space, but that was cancelled by the pandemic. Still, Concordia students forged ahead in their attempt to make history. Their goal, launch Star Sailor and breach the edge of space. 700 students pitched in over the years, devoting countless hours to their space quest. The launch is on schedule. Thank you for joining us so early in the morning. We're coming to you live from Aouichi, a few hours north of Mysticini, Quebec. The flight got clearance from Transport Canada. The local airspace was closed. Bad weather scrubbed two earlier launch dates. This is insane. This time, it was all systems go. Now that was the largest student-built rocket ever flown. Pretty cool. Though this is rocket science, and so it's hard. And students saw firsthand that simulations are not reality. It does look like, <laughs> like it separated earlier and burned out earlier than we expected. In the end, Star Sailor didn't reach space. But the students say it still went beyond expectations. The sky is not the limit, obviously. For us, this is not a failure. This is like the beginning. Like we've proven that we are allowed to see at the table of like launching to space. See you in space <laughs> next time. <laughs> still, the future looks bright. Now the team is recovering the rocket's components with the help of local helicopter pilots. Heather, 